Mini Mokia, 1000cc. If you check the website, you can see it's on Spanish plates there. Check the website for all the paperwork and information we've got with it. Current vendor does has a house in Spain. That's where it's come from. Uh, hot stuff, these really at the minute. We could sell these, you know, sell 10, ten of these every day. 1000 cc, I've been informed the engine has been rebuilt and it's had all the work done to it. So, body work wise, I'm going to start off with the bonnet. We've got a little few little marks in the bonnet. You can see a few little touchings there. But it's not exactly the world's biggest bonnet to get sorted out. But overall, in nice, usual condition. Onto the left hand front sort of wing there. Again, a few little marks on it, but overall nice and tidy. It's in sort of like a gunmetal grey, sort of Schwartz BMW black, maybe. It's quite a nice colour, this. Again, a few little marks on this wing here. And a few little chips on the leading edge. Lights are all nice and clean, nice and shiny. Chrome works good around those, but if it's been in a hot country, so it should be. Indicator lenses are all clear. Grill's all good, as is the front bumper. I'm just going to stand back there so you can have a good look at that. I think I was going a little bit too fast there, I apologise. A little bit of a mark on that wing there as you come down onto those side lockers. All nice and tidy. See, we've got Honda, Honda wheels on it there, which will be the same fitment, obviously, as a Mini Moke, which look quite nice on it. 4x100, I think. You can see those side containers are all nice and clean, nice and straight down that side, up on the rear, arch, quarter, whatever you want to call it. Again, in nice condition, wheels look okay. As you come across the top of the back, that's all nice. Back lights again, all, all nice and clear. That back panel's lovely. Nice and shiny, ready to be used this one. Ready to be enjoyed. Spare wheel there as well. You can see we've got this big rollover frame with a canvas roof on or leather, I'm not sure, it might be vinyl. A few little marks on it here and there. Once a good clean, but overall serving its purpose. Keep the sun off your head or the rain. As you come down the left hand side again, that side panel is nice and tight, nice and straight. I'll try and stick the camera underneath so we can have a little bit of a look there if we can see anything. Bit of dodgy camera work there. If you look on the website, James will tell you what sort of spec it is. I know there's Australians, there's all these different sort of specs on these. I've been told that it's had a load of engine work. Interior wise, the seats are all okay. A little bit grubby, want a bit of a clean. Same with the rear, want a bit of a clean, but again, nice and tidy. We've got some sort of weird underlay flooring on there. Dashboard's pretty. Sort of self explanatory there. All nice and tidy in there, no problems with that. Into the rear locker, you've got some speakers, a head unit, some bits and pieces in there. Again, we'll have a look from the opposite side of the interior. Like I say, it wants a good clean, but there's no major rips or tears in that. Overall, quite a pretty looking thing, this it really is. I'm going to get a fire up there. James is going to start there. James is going to start there. No issues with that at all there. I fired up pretty on the button, didn't it? Ticking over quite happy there. James giving a little bit of a rev, see what's going on. No problems with that. Yeah, sounds good. I'm happy with that. Good oil pressure. We've got an oil pressure gauge there. James, I'll show you the oil pressure on it. There you have it. The four-seat Mini Moke. Convertible. The Mini Top, whatever you want to call it. Nice looking thing. That it really is. Like I say, check the website. And James will have all the details about the paperwork we've got. For, you know registration see what we've got there see if it is registered or whatever we've got on it so check the website for that any further questions give us a ring on this one